Dear COP28 delegates, my name is Robert and I'm from Children's Climate Championship. I'm talking to you today from Canada. I've brought some friends of mine from every continent on the planet to beg you to take action. We are here to represent the 2.2 billion children on the earth today. You hold in your hands the ability to protect us, to protect your children. How you will act this month will be remembered by history. Time is running out to protect a livable future for me and my friends and for your children. Time is running out for our planet and the nine million species that share it with us. We only have six years left. This is our last chance to act before the world as we know it is gone. Hi, I'm Ella Grace and today I'm here on behalf of youth worldwide. We are pleading with you to set the maximum possible protections for our oceans. Without healthy oceans, we will fail to have healthy life on land, which is critical for human survival, which, above all else, is worth fighting for. My name is Reha, and this is Danya. Together, we are the Barcoon Mantra Sisters of Hong Kong and the youngest climate activists in Asia. Our time is running out. We have less than six years till climate change is irreversible, and we don't want future generations to live like this. Going out on the streets every Friday and talking to people about how urgent the climate crisis really is and how our world needs to be fossil fuel free. You know, I'm starting to feel like a broken record, seeing the same message over and over again and not being heard. So leaders of this world, this is your final wake up call to take action and be the one to be the leader of change. We need to ban fossil fuels as it is a root cause of climate change. And in this COP28, it needs to be cut out. There are many subsidies for fossil fuels, but in a life or death situation, we cannot cut corners and take the easier and cheaper way out, as it won't be so easy and cheap for much longer. I want my family to be safe and happy on Earth, not having to worry about climate change and what it does to our beautiful planet. I plead every one of you to take action as it is crucial for our Earth and Every small step makes a huge difference. Hello, I'm Benjamin Fallon, and I live in the UK. Nature is precious and we cannot survive without it. We have to stop climate change, and biodiversity is just as important too. They're all connected. But they're losing the same new species all the time. The UN report on biodiversity told us that over a million species are at risk of instance. And here in the UK, the recent State of Nature report told us that a fifth of species have been lost since the 1970s. The latest report from WWF stated that the Earth's wildlife population plummeted by 70% in the last 50 years. We could be facing the largest loss of life on Earth since the dinosaurs, and it's been driven by humans. There are so many people trying to protect the planet and the millions of species that live here. Conservation work and putting laws in place to protect nature can make a real difference. We need governments to help, like legislating to ban harmful pesticides and making sure we can protect the remaining wild areas of our planet. You are the people with the power to change everything for the good of our environment. We shouldn't have to tell these really sad facts to make you make a positive difference. We're here asking you to listen to the children, to fight for our planet and our future. We're not separate from nature, we're part of nature too, and we can't survive without it. Hola. Meu nome é Júlia Bonitese, tenho 11 anos e sou ativista ambiental desde os 8. Eu nasci em um país bonito por natureza, onde a música, a dança e a literatura enaltecem o mar, as florestas, a Amazônia, os rios, os povos indígenas e a alegria do povo brasileiro.
Entretanto, hoje o Brasil tem medo do futuro, medo de que nossas histórias sejam apagadas pelas queimadas, pela destruição das chuvas, pela extinção da fauna, pelas secas, pela fome, pela mudança climática. E nesse momento, a minha voz sai daqui do Brasil para dizer ao mundo, em nome de todas as crianças e adultos brasileiros, que discursos bonitos não serão mais capazes de salvar nosso planeta e nos trazer esperança. Essa COP precisa mostrar que os países do mundo precisam precisam de governantes atentos e corajosos que enfrentam com ações concretas as causas da mudança climática. A floresta amazônica tem um papel extremamente importante para a manutenção das chuvas em boa parte da América do Sul e para o combate do aquecimento global e as mudanças climáticas. Embora ela esteja localizada por aqui, é um bem mundial e precisamos unir forças para mantê-la em pé e saudável. Estou aqui hoje para implorar que essa COP traga soluções que permitam que os adultos de hoje envelheçam com a tranquilidade de que seus filhos e netos terão um mundo habitável, assim como permitir que nós crianças nos tornemos adultos conscientes e capazes de construir um futuro digno à natureza. Nós somos seres inteligentes e precisamos provar isso. Vamos dar um basta nas emissões de gases de efeito estufa, vamos regenerar as florestas, vamos permitir energias limpas e renováveis, vamos conscientizar as crianças e jovens, vamos ser a espécie capaz de salvar todas as outras e não a que causa sua própria extinção. Hello, my name is Keith, and today I'm going to be talking with you about the climate change that has affected my life and my mother's life and lots of Fijians. Most people in the rural areas of Fiji still live off of nature. They eat what they grow on the land and what they catch in the sea. They depend on the rain to water their crops and healthy coral to provide fish and seafoods. My mother, who sadly passed away two years ago, used to take me to the ocean to harvest sea urchins and seaweeds and all sorts of things we, we could eat. It is one of my sweetest memories. And I recently went to see what I could catch. Sadly, I did not catch anything. In 2016, when I was four years old, a huge cyclone came to Fiji when, when me and my mother were visiting her relatives in Ra. The wind was so strong that it tore off the roof of the house and my mother got injured. I was very scared. A few weeks before the cyclone hit, the fish even began dying in many places in Fiji because the water was so hot. People knew something was wrong. I heard in Florida just this year, the water got to 38.4 degrees centigrade and all the coral had died. Climate change is killing our coral reefs and is harming our farms and homes. And the people most impacted in the South Pacific Islands are not to blame, but we are suffering the consequences. Please do your best for climate change. My name is Holly and I'm representing Antarctica. Antarctica is changing. The sea ice is diminishing and the ice shelves are breaking. Its vast ice sheets are melting, raising sea levels all around the world. This year, sea ice is the lowest ever, leading to losses of penguins, seals and other animals that live on the continent. The sea ice is also vital for cooling our planet and driving global circulation. Its loss causes a feedback that we cannot afford to ignore. We must take action now on on cutting emissions for the sake of all the future generations. Hello, my name is Jada Nema. I'm talking to you from Kenya. Dear COP28 delegates, we need an end to all new coal, oil and natural gas projects. We need to protect the ocean, the one ocean we are all sharing by putting an end to emission because the ocean is becoming more acidic due to too much carbon emitted into the atmosphere. To limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, we need to slash emission by 45% before 2030. You are the last people who can save us. It is all in your hands. Whatever you do today will, de will determine our future. 
We did an end to the carbon capture storage fairy tale being pushed for by fossil fuel industries. We need to end oil and gas subsidies. We need to bring an end to the production of fossil fuels with targets for their phase out from this COP28. Our planet is so beautiful. It's such a gift to live here, and we still have hope that you will do the right thing. We are not doomed, but we still need to act. We can still do this. It's not too late. Don't listen to the doomerism. Listen to your kids. You are the last people who can save us. It is all in your hands. The future isn't set, and what you do today will determine our world's fate for centuries. You might have grown up wishing you were a superhero. Well, today you get to be superheroes. Don't do what's easy. Giving up is easy. Hope is hard. We need you to fight for us. Fight hard. Make us proud.